What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are sitting staring at that 240SX S14 with that boss kit that I have chosen to use as my SSR Pro Car for this season. After going back and forth with a bunch of different cars, the BMWs, a couple 240s, and stuff like that, I have settled on this S14 with a boss kit because of the sheer fact of the power is there, the controllability is there, and the chase ability is there. So the BMW, whether it be fast or not, I was not able to get it into that chase pocket or in the chase position how I wanted it to be. I couldn't get it to chase how I wanted it to, to be able to be competitive in SSR. So I've gone with the S14 after some working with it a little bit, doing some random lobbies and stuff like that. I've determined the S14 is going to be my best fit for the SSR season. So we are going to be running this boss kit today to do a little uh, shakedown with the wheel for you guys, as well as uh, just get a little more practice because I am qualifying on Wednesday for round one of SSR, which will be on Sunday. So look forward for that content coming out. But to US Anthem doing a bang up job on delivery for this SSR car for this year. He, uh, to US Renga rocking that S13. And uh, Anthem, I believe, is either going to be running the R34, maybe another S14, or uh, the e, um, E92. I'm not sure. But we are rocking this amazing blue and white paint. I did add the torque drift. And the YouTube handle, as well as my door cards on it. But he did a baller job with this livery for this SSR season for the three of us. So we're going to hop into this. And we're just going to go full send on this car. And uh, have a little fun with it. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. We're going to switch it up to... We were running uh, Long Beach section a little bit. Or, and uh, Road Atlanta. So we're going to switch up to Yas Marina. And... Uh, chuck this car in because like i said we are running qualifying on wednesday with this car so i need to get as much practice as i can we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on we do have the alcatara suede wheel on new gloves with a different uh, feel on the bottom so they'd feel nice and uh, grippy as well as slide very well in uh in my hands for this so yas marina north we're gonna be sending this s14 like I said, after countless trials of different cars, this is the car I decided to use, and I'm quite comfortable in it. And uh, it just gets in that chase pocket how I want it to if I do everything correctly myself. So, and it sounds pretty sweet. So we are just going to run a couple laps here and then maybe switch it up to Road Atlanta and uh, run it there as well because it will be running round two, which is Road Atlanta. So if you guys watched round two road atlanta uh what did you guys think or round three sorry round three at road atlanta what did you guys think did you agree with all the calls did you disagree with some of the calls i honestly think forrest wang should have taken the win against Odie, but that was just me personally so let me know what you guys think about road atlanta and what you guys thought about it let me know what you guys think of this livery that uh tus anthem has uh put together for the three of us to run here in the ssr series roasting our tires a little bit I already scraped the bumper we got that uh got that one scrape out of the way so we're gonna send this here try to do our best qualifying foot forward a little shallow there but still decent pretty shallow there but I don't think my tires were heated up to where I needed them to be and uh, shallow there, but this would be a conservative run if I was going to run a conservative run for one qualifying run, which I may actually do when I'm in qualifying. I may run a conservative run first and then go pretty much all out in the second run to try to make sure that I uh, get a number on that board because I believe there's only 32 or 33 pro drivers. So i got to make sure... I get as many points as I can. I believe they're doing a top 24 bracket. So I need to make sure that I get at least a decent score on the board. Wouldn't want to double zero or anything like that. So I'm going to run it one more time. Make sure my tires are nice and warm. So this car is 500 horsepower. And I believe it's at 2654 or something like that. Like four pounds over the minimal I could have on 265s, and we're right at that 500 horsepower limit. So this car is pretty much exact spec for the tire size that I'm running. I 
I was running an ESDA car, so my initiation points were a little bit sooner, and I think I was uh, trying to do my ESDA initiation, you know, initiation points here, but right on that line, kind of right in that pocket where I want to be, and I am actually very comfortable in this car. Like I said, that is why I've chosen this car to run here for the SSR season. You know, a lot of you guys are saying the BMW is where I need to be, and I was kind of leaning towards that, uh, the one series or the E92, but I just couldn't get it to chase how I wanted it to. So I probably could have fought with it more and tried to get it to handle what I wanted it to, but I was down to the wire. I needed to get registered because qualifying started yesterday. So we need to get the car registered, tacked in, and ready to go and get my qualifying time set, which I did set for Wednesday after or Wednesday evening. So that is when I will be doing my qualifying runs. And like I said, may do a conservative and then go all out. So we're gonna initiate a little bit later now. Because I remembered I'm in the SSR car. Right on that rumble strip. It's a little bit wider than I needed to be, but nonetheless, very decent run. So like I said, I am quite comfortable in this car. So let's switch this up. Go to Road Atlanta, run it at Road Atlanta in the actual SSR configuration, which if you guys have been watching FD, is actually old FD circuit. It is uh, entering into the keyhole sooner than later, like they are now. So instead of sweeping it around to the second entrance, you enter in the first one and then sweep it out afterwards. That is um, how SSR runs Road Atlanta, which actually kind of benefits the 500 horsepower cars. I know ESDA runs the long sweep, like the actual FD section. So we're going to run Atlanta once or twice and uh, throw it down that hill and uh, see how this thing goes here, which I've run it once or twice here in tandems and such, and the car runs super nice here. Flip it around. Trying to just use some uh, run up to uh, heat up those tires. and red line in third gear this car loves third gear um, the way it's set up now I actually don't have to change gears here at Road Atlanta which is good um, I mean if I had to it wouldn't be a big deal but I don't have to switch the power is there and I can kind of stay in third which is nice a few clutch kicks and I'll be okay to stay there rather than having to shift in second to the keyhole and shift out on the way out which uh, is how the new ESDA car that I'm working on uh, works and the reason I'm working on a new ESDA car I did find out SSR is giving away pro license, one around and then one at the end. So there's a chance that I can get an ESDA license if I were to possibly win an event in this uh, SSR season. And that's the goal is to get into ESDA. So we're gonna kick it in. She jangled up, probably more than I needed to. Right on that white line, bringing it out. Probably a little bit shallower than I needed to be right there, but right on that rumble strip, a little e-brake grab there. Quick e-brake grab and clutch to stay on the power. I could have ran a little bit wider there, but this car does handle so good at Atlanta. I'm super excited to go to round three of SSR in Atlanta. I feel like I'm more comfortable in Atlanta than I am at Yas Marina, but uh, still got a couple days before qualifying, so. Hopefully I will be able to uh, get even more comfortable with the Yas Marina track. This is the first time I've ever run Yas Marina in uh, a tandem or drift aspect. So that's why I'm way more comfortable in Road Atlanta than I am Yas Marina. But I've run Road Atlanta so much more. Quick e-brake grab there. Just tagging the normal strip, running that one tire off like I am allowed to do. One tire is allowed on the grass. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys think that I've made a good decision or a bad decision, I know I personally have thought I've made my best decision because it is my most comfortable car right now that I've tried. And uh, it's nice to be back in an S chassis. You guys know my love for the S13s. Ooh, that was a good entry. It's 
probably a very good run. Probably could have went a little bit wider there, but... That was a very solid run here at Road Atlanta, and I think I will end it on that one. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. So always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time.